Now, what I've done here, good morning, <laughs> is just put the photo of the actual card spread there as part of the intro section of this pre-recorded video. I'm recording this after I got back from work, actually, on the Tuesday afternoon, evening, and in preparation for tomorrow morning, this is the time I did it. I thought I'd get the good light from the window, but I didn't. So um, hence the picture, just to give a bit more of a clear aspect to what we're going to read as the spread. So I'm going to hide that one now, and that can disappear, and here we go. Now, uh, because I am doing this as pre-recorded, I won't be able to see your comments, but certainly you'll be able to watch it as often as you like, and even it will be um, posted over in my YouTube channel as well. So you've got the choice of YouTube or Facebook on the MyTimeTV.live. And I might be able to do some sharing and linking. I'm not sure. Um, this is still the process that I'm learning. So here we go with the actual card spread. And it's an interesting one. Oh, I haven't got my Apple pencil. So I'll use a red pen that's got a red tip. Can you see that? <laughs> that's here in the room. Right. What I'm starting with here in this, in, a, in this space, which is the workspace, I've got the young man. Here in the home space, we've got the tower. Up in the unexpected, it is the mice in that. And down here in the your roll, we've got the heart card. And right in the centre at the outcome, we have the older, more mature man. So very interesting that we've got a very, very strong energy of the masculine working through here. And in that workspace, the young man contemplating, uh, it looks more like he's thinking about a romance, the rose in the hand and that type of thing. I think it's more indicative of you know, indicating or oh, showing us, you know, whatever word you want to use, the, um, you know, having things more centred on that heart space and, you know, thinking a bit more of what actually is important in life. And that includes for what's important in your workspace and your business, that type of thing. It's a fairly casual pose, but it certainly has that seriousness about it in many respects. So, you know, it, it does feel like for me the energy of, you know, things could be getting serious, what, what you're working toward, okay? So, and then we're moving over into the home space where there is the energy of a tower. Um, towers do need to be built on those solid foundations. I'm just feeling it's rising up to the occasion, uh, you know, whatever it is that we've got in our lives at the moment with, uh, you know, situations that are happening and what, you know, what restrictions we're under or not how we feel about uh, what we're being told to do or not do by government and how we, our mindset is, um, you know, you, you're for it or you're against it or whatever. It's partly to do with that sort of feeling around our government arena and how it's affecting our homes. So that's what I'm feeling around this energy and thinking, ah, look, we do have to just go with the flow and for today, which is the 12th, we're going to just have to go with the flow. You know, we're at, we're at our middle of the week and there's some things that we're still needing to do. If we're preparing for going, you know, doing something that's on the weekend, continue preparing as if and uh, all things being equal, you still be able to enjoy what you're planning uh, and what you're building up. So do keep in touch, communicate with those around you as to where you're at in what you're doing so that you can actually, uh, you know, it's like building a network. You're building your tower, your empire, that type of feeling. Yeah. And what's going to pop into the day is the little fat mouse. Well, no, micey, micey's. I really like the mouse card, even though, you know, you just got to be wary what's popping in. It could be something that's happening behind you, but, you know, that you don't know that you're not fully aware of that's actually taking your resources or taking your energy or, you know, just using things that are yours that you know you, you haven't given permission for even just have that awareness it's it's sort of like an a, a thievery but not you know because it's only just 
that there's probably not any thought on behalf of the mice that they're doing anything wrong. They're just being opportunistic, etc. You know, you see something that's in what you need and use, you go and do it type of thing uh, without thought. And I think that's partly what might pop into your day. Just, uh, you know, just have that awareness around you. It could be you yourself um, doing that without thinking and realising afterwards, oh, I shouldn't have done that. I need to speak to so-and-so about it and uh, and mention what I've done or something, you know, as far as what you've used. Or it could be someone else doing a similar thing. Or it could be that, you know, I mean, it just depends on your situation around you. It could be that someone is actually stealing something from you and you need to be wary of that and start looking too to where the leak is, you know, that type of thing. Um, and that's in the unexpected. So it's not something you're actually going to fully be aware of, but something tweaks your mind that you need to, oh, okay, better start looking. Um, could even be the mouse peeps that are around the place. <laughs> Look for the mice. <laughs> I'm hoping you understand what I mean with that. Heart card in your position, in your role, your responsibility area. Um, and that's where I, th I think it really does correlate with the young man there too. It's just that having that heart-centeredness around how you're thinking, feeling, doing, being, and your, especially your thoughts, that you actually do whatever you do from that centre of love, from bringing that um, from, from your heart and out into the world. I mean, it doesn't have to be gooey, mushy stuff or anything like that. It's just know that what you're doing in your life in each present moment is is from your truth and and you know with what you genuinely genuinely believe and feel happy to share out um is my feeling around that um you know in all things that you do have that heart base heart centeredness around it love love self love others because without the self first it's not going to be able to be given to others either um, it certainly is more a people people setting this time uh, as far as that more masculine energy and the outcome is going to be that it feels like that strength. I mean, because this is a very male-looking older man, uh, not aged but very obviously much more mature than this younger man, um, it's just showing that progression and, and what we are going to have as part of, you know, from the start of the day to the end of the day there will be that level of where we're going to have a better understanding and feel stronger in ourselves of what we've been able to deal with and um, grow and cope with uh, as far as, you know, how you feel the tower around you in, in your home space is going to be and what you're seeing in that and how you deal with, even with those little mice there, you know, what the situation is that's going to pop up unexpectedly, how you deal with that. So with all of that, do... Keep it in mind. Do it all from that heart-centred space and the lovingness of, of who you are. Tap into that. Don't even look at the fear side or what's worrying you or anything. Feel that, oh, I am so grateful for. And name three things that you are so grateful for in this moment as you're even watching this. And then look at the cards and see what other messages might come through for you specifically as you're doing it in that way. Even go back and pause on that photo of the, the full <laughs> spread that's there and uh, just take it in as your intuition guiding you from that heart space, okay? So I'm going to leave it there and see you tomorrow morning as well for the 13th. It will be another pre-recorded and uh, take, take what you need from any of these messages, these uh, videos, it is for your general guidance and, you know, it's just a tool. But it's sometimes it just gives that little bit of a click in clarity that will be so much worthwhile spending this 10 minutes in watching, you know, the explanation of something that's going to help guide you through your day. Keep being the best person you can be. And I'll see you tomorrow and namaste till then.